Hi everyone, this is Callie. Welcome. I am sharing a love theme card today using the adorable Elephant Parade sets. The Elephant Parade set and its add-on sets are kind of baby themed, but I'm going to use it for a love theme card today. So I'm pairing it with the giant XOXO die, as well as the lots of heart stencil to create a more loved themed card. So I'm going to start out here by stamping the images. I'm just going to put all the images that I want to use into my Misty and stamp it onto some hammer mill cardstock, and then I'll color it with Copic markers. The little elephant's going to be holding a flag, so I'm just going to stamp the word I love you in there again to make it more of a love themed card. And then I'll quickly color here with some Copic markers. I'm keeping it super simple. Grays on the elephants, a light brown on the mice, some reds for the hearts, and pink for the heart balloon. When I color elephants, I like to dot a few areas here and there. They have a lot more body, I guess, um, compared to other critters. So I like to give it a little bit more texture with a few dots here and there. Then I'll move on to the mice and the hearts. And now I'm finishing up with this flag or banner. All right, so now that I've die cut everything off camera, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Jelly Roll pen to add a few gel highlights here and there. I'm mostly adding the gel highlights to the elephants because there's not really a lot of space on the mice or other areas of the tiny hearts to add some gel highlights. Now we're gonna work on a background. I'm gonna be using the Lots of Heart stencil here. This is a two stencil set. So for the first color, I'm using Guava ink and I'm just gonna do a light blend of pink for the background just to have a few little scattered hearts in the background for our love themed card. I'm using a very small amount of ink so that I get a really light color. I don't want it to be too intense. And I'm using a circular motion going counterclockwise and counterclockwise to get a good blend. So I'll lift this away here. And as you can see, the hearts are very soft and muted in the background. Now I'll move on to my second stencil and do the same with grape soda ink. It's kind of a pinkish purple color and I thought it was a great pairing to go with the guava ink so that it still has its own color but isn't too much of a contrast. Now I wanted to ground my card for the elephants so I'm using the grassy stencil here to add some green at the bottom. I use the stencil to kind of block off the area and then I'll remove the stencil so that I can ink blend the remaining sections. Then for the XOXO die, I really wanted a blend of colors. So I'm using guava cardstock and I'm ink blending with some raspberry ink to give it that ombre look. I'll die cut my XOXO off camera and I also die cut a stitch scallop rectangle frame so that I can frame my card and give it a bit more interest. On a card base, I'm gonna go ahead and attach my stenciled background. Then I'll work on my stitched scallop rectangle frame. I'm gonna add some thin foam strips all the way around the frame. You can die cut this several times and stack them that way if you'd prefer. Um, because the frame is equal in size all the way around, I thought foam tape would work just fine. So I'll go ahead and do that and then I'll place it carefully over my panel so that it's nice and even. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the XOXO die. I'm using some foam tape and these are foam adhesive strips and once I remove the backing it's really easy to curve it around the O's. So again I'm going to go ahead and place this on my card here at the bottom in the grassy area and that's going to ground everything for the scene that I'm going to put above the grass. Now I'm using some little 3D foam squares for the back of these images and I'll attach the small little elephant first, make sure there's lots of room for him, and then I'll attach the elephant with the balloon. I wanted to make sure that there's plenty of room for the heart balloon, so I attached the elephant first and then that way I can move the balloon down as far as I need to to keep that balloon within that A2 size card. And then I'll attach these little sweet mice and finish off with the little red hearts that I colored with the Copic markers when I colored the other images as well. So I was just deciding where to put these little hearts as a finishing touch and I thought the little hearts should go between these little mice here. And then finally for a final sentiment, I thought the XOXO needed something down there. So I'm using the Simply Celebrate Hearts stamp set and I'm gonna stamp the Sending Lots of Love sentiment in white over some vellum. To do that, I'm going to do some embossing. 
I've prepared my vellum with some embossing powder tool to keep off any stray excess embossing powder from clinging to that vellum. And I'll stamp my sentiment with some Versamark ink. Then I'll add some embossing powder over that in white, tap off the excess, and then heat set the sentiment. Then I'm gonna use my trimmer here to cut the sentiment so that it's a nice and uniform strip. And what's great about this sentiment is it, it's really gonna go across my panel perfectly so that I just need to trim off the edges so that it can tuck underneath that scallop frame and sit over the word XOXO perfectly. So on the back, I'm just gonna add little dots of glue where I know it's gonna to cling to the words XOXO, and then I'll place that where it needs to go, and then I'll just kind of tuck in the sides underneath the scallop frame so it looks like it was there intentionally. And that completes my Elephant Parade love themed card. I hope you enjoyed this scene and creating it with me. Thank you so much for being here. If you're interested in any of the products that I use, be sure to check out the links below as well as on the coordinating blog post. I hope you all have a great day. Thanks for joining me today. Bye everyone.